This video covers Temtrack's alerts. There are three alert types in Temtrack, data exception alarms, battery alarms, and communication alarms. Anytime an alarm is generated by one of the three alert types, a red blinking alert indicator appears at the top of the screen. Each alarm indicator displays the alarm type and how many alarms have triggered. Clicking on one of the alarm indicators will take you to the associated alarms page. Data exception alarms, sometimes referred to as sensor alarms, are indicated by either a triangular warning sign or bell. The alarm provides current information on outstanding alarms and recently cleared alarms. This provides a quick overview of any immediate alert issues that need to be addressed. Next to the alarms tab is the recent alarms, which displays the recently cleared alarms. Clicking the column name sorts the list ascending or descending. Clicking the sensor name opens up the sensor details page, displaying the configuration settings for the sensor. Clicking the alert time opens a 24-hour temperature graph showing all the data points collected during that time frame, any triggered alarms or notes, and the minimum and maximum valid values. Clicking view notifications opens up the alarm notifications page. All notification activity is displayed on this page. We will go over this in detail in another section. Clicking View Notes opens up the Alarm Notes page, displaying any notes or acknowledgments entered regarding the status of this sensor. We will cover this in more detail in another video. Clicking Clear Acknowledge opens up the Clear Acknowledge Alarm page, allowing the user to enter any actions taken regarding this sensor either by adding an acknowledgement or clearing the alarm. We will discuss this in more detail in another video. Clicking the bell icon opens up the alarm notifications page. All notification activity is displayed on this page. If there are multiple pages, clicking the green left and right arrows at the bottom will take you to the previous or following page. Battery alarms are indicated by a battery warning sign and appear when the battery on a transmitter is close to being drained. If a battery alert is generated, you will have roughly two weeks before the battery is dead. Clicking the red blinking battery alarm indicator will bring up the battery alarms page. Next to the battery alarms tab is the recent alarms, which display recently cleared battery alarms. Once the battery in the sensor has been replaced, the battery alarm will be removed from the battery alarms page and placed in the recent battery alarms page. Clicking the column name sorts the list ascending or descending. Clicking the sensor name opens up the sensor details page, displaying the configuration settings for the sensor. Communication alarms are indicated by a wireless symbol and appear when a sensor is not communicating with the TempTrack application. Clicking the red blinking communication alarm indicator, or wireless icon, will bring up the communication alarms page. When the sensor starts communicating with TempTrack, the sensor will be removed from the communication alarms page. Clicking the column name sorts the list ascending or descending. Clicking the sensor name opens up the sensor details page, displaying the configuration settings for the sensor. TemTrack sensors can be in different alarm statuses depending on the current data reported by the sensor and if a user has closed or acknowledged the alarm. When a sensor is out of range and alarming, it means the sensor has been out of range longer than the predefined time limit set for the transmitter. It has gone into an alert mode and generated a notification to alert and a user has not performed any corrective action. An alarm bell will appear in the lower right corner. If it shows red, it means the settings have reached the maximum limit. If it shows blue, the readings have exceeded the lower range limit. When a sensor is out of range but not alarming, it is because the unit has currently gone out of range but has not generated an alert due to the unit not exceeding the assigned delay factor. The delay factor establishes a time delay where an alarm has not been generated but the unit has exceeded its valid operating range. Once the time delay has been exceeded, an alarm will be generated. When a sensor is in range and alarming, it means the sensor had been out of range longer than the predefined time limit set for the transmitter 
and generated an alarm. The alarm has gone back into range, but the user has not responded to the alarm. When a sensor alert is acknowledged, it is because the sensor went out of range and generated an alert. It was acknowledged and or a note was added, but it was not cleared. A bell with a check mark will appear in the lower right corner. The checked bell will disappear once the alert has been cleared.